One of the projects I'm involved with is Amrita Therapeutics. We're a, a SME, very small biotech startup based in India. We are looking at human biofilms. The original antibiotics were synthesized chemically from compounds that were expressed by soil bacteria. So Amrita Therapeutics is saying, well, and, and we have a fantastic genius scientist, Dr. Ananda Chakrabarty, who got the first biotech patent in 1980 and has been my science mentor uh, for more than 10 years now. And we work together on law reform issues in India. That's how I met him at the time that India was making patent reform. He was a very articulate advocate on, on that issue. So we're looking at biofilms in the human body and we're saying, gee, if we can find bacterial biofilms in soil that are expressing compounds that can be snipped and made into chemical entities, streptomycin, et cetera, then let's look in the human body. And this is his second company. He has one in Chicago that's got a cancer therapy in phase two. We're just at preclinicals. We're looking at different bacterial biofilms and we're looking at compounds that are designed and derived. So they're not found in the human body exactly the way we're doing it. And you have to have a deep and profound knowledge of the human biofilm. He's been studying it for more than 40 years. And when you put together his domain, his global domain knowledge, and the human biofilm, and what can be designed and derived, you can come up with out of all the biofilms, out of all the bacteria, you can come up with 25 amino acids that might prevent or cure cancer. So at that point, we're saying that does need to get exclusivity through the patent system. If it doesn't, nobody will spend the literally hundreds of millions of dollars to bring that to the market. And we're looking at therapies, we're looking at the first ever less uh, intrusive way of treating cancer without, potentially without or as an adjunct to surgery or chemo or radiation. That's the main thing I was at bio for last year. And that's a drug eluding stent that would be outside the body, but the peptides would go in the body and it would be an adjunct to look at diffuse uh, cancer cells, sentinel cells, hairy tumors, etc. Those are technologies that can only come to the market with intellectual property.